Welcome, my name is Matt and I've been living in Hong Kong for the last three years. Here we are in the Philippines today. Uh, I took a ferry for uh, two hours and I've hired a car so, we can, so I can explore the island of Bohol. And our, my the stop today is here at the Bakleon Church. This is a very important church. So I'm going to stand here and we're going to look out at the church now. I just want to show you the location of the church because literally it's on the water. Straight down there is the ocean. The Baroque churches of the Philippines are a collection of four Spanish colonial era churches in, uh, which were included in UNESCO's World Heritage List in 1993. When we're looking at Baroque uh, architecture or art, uh, what, you, what you're going to look out for is uh, the, the Baroque style is characterized by contrast and movement and exuberant detail and deep color and grandeur and the, the idea of the Baroque style is just to give you like a sense of awe and a sense of wow. As most Spanish missionaries were not trained in architectural engineering, the local Chinese townspeople including Filipinos and Chinese migrants alongside the Spanish friars would take part in the building and design of local churches. So the combination of the ideas from missionaries and locals effectively fused the native Spanish designs with a uniquely oriental style. And the church's aesthetic was also shaped by limited access to materials. So oh, this, this church is called the Immaculate Conception of Virgin Mary. And it's commonly known as the Bacleon Church. That's a Roman Catholic church uh, here in Bohol. And it was founded by the Jesuit uh, priests in 1596. And it's the oldest Christian settlement here in Bohol. Uh, so what are we going to do first? First we're going to go into the museum, which is going to be on the right hand side. And then we're going to walk into... Uh, the church and we'll look at some of the Baroque items. Welcome everybody that's just joined. Now I'm going to look out for Rita and she's going to talk to us firstly about the earthquake. So here's a look. So Bohol had a really, really bad earthquake. This is Rita. Hello. And she works here as a guide here at Bacleon Church. And she's going to talk to us. We're going to learn about the, first about the earthquake in 2013 that really destroyed the front of the church. And then we're going to have, go have a look at some of the art, um, art, important artifacts of the church. And then finally, we're going to go inside the church. So everyone's saying hi. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> Great. So we're going to turn around. So do you want to tell us about um, what happened in 2013? Um, that's, uh, during the 2013, there was a 7.2 magnitude earthquake. And many uh, churches also was uh, damaged at the time. Also, this Baklayan church was damaged. Uh, and the uh, front and the bell tower was very damaged and there was there was also inside the church was damaged until it was restored and uh, was completed the restoration in 2017 this was completed and it was turned over to the diocese of Cagularan in this church in february 27 2018. So, just to uh, summarize, so the, the church was, um, that, that in 2013 there was a terrible earthquake, You've, you can see the destruction behind us mm -hmm. that happened, and then only in 2017 did they complete the restoration, right. and then in the, it was only open to the public on the 27th of February 2018. Mm -hmm. So it was closed for a long time, yeah. but they took time to uh, build it back up because it's a really important church. Blessed Virgin Mary is the name of this uh, 
immaculate uh, the name of this church or the titular of this church December 8th we celebrate the fiesta day of the Immaculate Conception. And so this, will this be taken out during that festival? We bring that out for a procession during December 8th. Okay, so that's in December 8th. Yeah. Uh, they'll bring, bring, bring out in the procession this mm -hmm. the beautiful, beautiful... Um, yeah. And then you can see it's at night, people bring Because their candles. During the night time, there's a procession on the street of this Immaculate Conception. Wow. Yeah, every 8th of December. Wow, it must be amazing to be there. Yeah. So now, this is from one of the three this missing is, bells from Bell yeah, Tower, right? This is one of the original bells that was hanged there at the Bell Tower, dedicated to Virgen del Carmen, one of the titles also of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Año or year 1886. There you can see. Uh, let me see if I can give you a nice shot. 1886. The bells are dedicated to the Virgin Mary. And here we've got, uh, these are from the, 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 the church. And uh, those are the silver pieces that during the first Vatican Council, the Mass was said in Latin. So now we are now in the second Vatican Council. So these pieces now, we preserve it in here because we are not using anymore. And we also not using already so many candlesticks holders. Because of, uh, we have now uh, modern technology, we have electricity. Yeah, you can use those LED candles. Mm -hmm. So there you can see, like, they're bringing in some of the um, things that are unique to the Philippines. Yeah, like yeah. The, the shells. The, with the shells, with those details, but still we're in a church. Yes. And so it's like that meshing of um, Filipino and, uh, and, and the Spanish cultures, and, and, and that it's incorporated into the church really nicely. Yeah. This is one of the old oh. things also. Oh, this, this is, is one of the oldest. This is actually, this is a wooden chest when made I first, of wood. When I first saw it, I thought it was a metal, metal chest. Because, because of, of the paint. Because of the paint, yeah. yeah. Actually, this is wood, uh, but that's a very hard wood. Because this heavy. Used for keeping important things uh, for the priests or the documents or the vestments. Wow, so all of that, all important things we kept in there. And then there's mm -hmm. something really interesting I want you to tell us about. Um, uh, actually, this is a tabernacle. This is a very beautiful artwork before. So there you can and see some of baroque. those, that Baroque. Uh -huh. So when I talked about Baroque earlier, I talked about how there's a lot of detailing. Uh, and you can see here, now that's, this has got gold, uh, gold, gold, uh, gold, leaf. gold leaf on it. And you can just see it's like really beautifully decorated. I'll give you a nice very wide shot. Beautiful. This is, this is the place where the unfinished body of Christ, after the communion, they used to keep in here. Yeah, so, so when you have communion and there's leftover wine, leftover bread, it would go, in, go inside this little uh, box. That's already very sacred. Also the old book. Oh, wow. Is this... this is actually, this is used for the uh, choir, pages made out of cow skin, while the cover made of alcohol. Of caribou hide or the wooden wow. buffalo. So, so the, 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 they dated this book in 1826 in Latin. Wow, and the hymns in Gregorian chant. That's amazing. This, it, it, it's used a big book so that everybody of the group can see. Because this comes from a. This is for e, around Easter for yeah. a procession in Easter. Um, actually, this uh, we celebrate after the Advent season. We celebrate the uh, Lenten season. We call that the Semana Santa, oh. where Jesus died and crucified. So this is the image of Jesus uh, died, the dead Christ. Wow. We bring this down for the procession during Good Friday. Wow, so this, this, I find this so interesting because um, it's almost like bringing the story of... Um, the Easter story of Jesus dying. Like It's very, so, so visual. They've got here, I don't know if you can see through the box, So they've got the, the dead Christ uh, in the box, uh, in like a coffin, and they pr they take this around, around out, outside. Yes, outside the and, church. Outside the church and, and do possession with it. So that, this this in is the used street. in the street. This is you. Yeah. This comes out every yeah, every we Easter. Yeah, we to put this. And um, do people carry? Do, how does it move? No, not carry. There's a carriage. Oh, there's a special it carriage that brings it around. And also this. Well, and and the. Uh, the Virgin the image Mary. Of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Uh, 
Our Lady of Sorrow or Mater Dolorosa. So she'll also come out at Easter. Yeah, very, very sad because uh, the, the, the son was died on the cross. Wow. So, yeah, this is painted by a Bohol artist and these hills behind here are actually found here on the island of Bohol. They're called the chocolate famous, hills yeah. and they're very famous. I'm actually going to be visiting, visiting them later today. That's a really nice detail. Okay, so we're going to go into the, uh, the church now. I just want to point out like the, the wooden floors. Yeah. Just really, really big and spacious and uh, beautiful details. You can feel like that uh, the church is uh, really old. This is made of coral. The wow. church made of coral stones. You, and used a mixture of sea sand uh -huh. and egg whites. Lime. And lime. Yeah. Wow. Because so, before there was no cement. Yeah, because you have to use, you have to, you know, you have, wherever you are, you have to use what's natural. And so it's amazing to see that the bricks are actually made out of coral. It's the detail. I just want to zoom in a little bit there. Look at that, it's amazing. So we're gonna enter the church from the, I think the back. Yeah. So we saw when you, when I, if you joined at the beginning, we were at the front. It was a rectory where the priest lived there. Oh. But now, there's now the, the rectory or the house of the priest. Okay, so the priest hut is, is down there. And we're gonna enter the church through this entrance. Oh, you can just being here, you can feel like that it's been around for a long time. Mm -hmm. Now, um, should, should, I, uh, should, I keep, uh, should I keep quiet yes. when we go inside? Actually, this is a very active church. Okay. We have mass here every day. Oh, wow. Today, Saturday, the mass was uh, this morning. So this is the present church, that's the altar, made of wood. All made of wood. The altar tree is gold. So I'm going to be really quiet and uh, I want to show you some of those details. I'm going to turn. Should we go have a, have a look at some of the artwork uh, mm -hmm. and in the other side of the church? This is one of where the big hymnal book was formerly played. Oh wow, so the choir would stand there on that, mm -hmm. on the top yeah. there, and then the organ is still there. There, and it's already functioning. Wow. The pipe organ was in 1824 and it was restored. So it's restored and, and being used yeah. right now. Mm -hmm. Wow. And then just on the, the roof. There's so many uh, different scenes. I'm just going to try and give you one. I uh, just have a painting because that's also a way of evangelization. So this, this area over here yeah. was the area that was destroyed in the earthquake. Mm -hmm. Uh, there's, there's people keeping clean right now. There's actually a lady here um, cleaning up. Uh, so, Lisa, the, uh, the earthquake happened in 2013, and the church only opened again uh, on the 27th of February 20, uh, 2018. 
took a long time to restore. Oh, so this, this is... All, uh... Painted by a Filipino. Oh wow! It's all made by a Filipino artist. And how, how did he? In the Bible. How did he get up here to, to, to paint? Did he use scaffolding or how did yes, he? Yes, they use the scaffolding. Oh wow! Amazing, amazing, amazing. Okay, well, well let's get, we'll carry on walking now. I'm just going to give everybody an opportunity to get a, a photograph as we walk past. This is from the Transfiguration, I believe. Oh, yeah. This one over here. Transfiguration. Yeah. And this is the pulpit. It's used for the priest before, for preaching. Oh, wow. Because so of preaches? no microphone before. So they use this, the priest, when they explaining or preaching to the word of God the priest climb up here oh wow so this is the and pulpit above the pulpit it signifies uh, it helps to amplify the preachers because voice. of the acoustics yeah mm -hmm. wow the colors are just oh, it's just I can't get over the colors it's just mm -hmm. so bright Cool, so we're we gonna exit now. Yeah. And here yeah. we've got here we've got a, a This a, is a scaled model. A scaled model of the church. So here you can yes. see this is the front of the church where we started. Oh this is this is a school here. Yeah, Immaculata High School. And this is the museum and we are here down. Wow. You come in here in this way. So here we've got the school, we've got uh -huh. the museum, and then the church, and then you can see it's got that cruciform shape. If you if you just look over there, go to the end there, you can see it's in the shape of a a cross. And this is the main entrance. The entrance in here. There we go. Uh -huh. And uh, and if you want to come, you pay 150 yeah, yeah. pesos. 150 pesos, the regular rate, and uh, discounted rate is uh, 100. And, yeah, and that goes to just. Uh, you know, making sure the, the church is in good condition and yes. and to the restoration and keeping the upkeep and all of that. Right. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you also. Cool. Hoping that there are many uh, visitors coming here in this place, so, a historical place in Bohol, the Buckland Church, Immaculate Conception. Bye. Thank, bye. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay, so that was our tour of this amazing, amazing church. I'm just going to end off with uh, Rita, oh, thanks, thanks so much, Rita. That was, she was so sweet and uh, shared with us so much really interesting information. So I'm really happy we got to share this amazing church together. And I'm going to leave you now with a nice postcard of the church from the outside. <laughs>